The belongs to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone with Shuel. Salutations to the whole family like that day. You Akim to Zadakim that do this thing in the utmost truth and sincerity. On the preacher mind, this week's topic is going to be going into the Feast of the Beast, all right? Or uh, slash Molech, okay? Because right now we're in a satanic period, a satanic ritual um, called the Feast of Molech, wherein, all right, from, May, from April 19th to May 1st, 13 days, human sacrifices, all right, to this idol Molech, all right? Or Moloch, or Molkim, and all these different fucking names this demon goes under, all right, that these heathens sacrifice to, and two-thirds of the nation of our people, because what you're going to realize is these deities, they just, they masquerade themselves, all right, in different masks, but they're the same wicked, well, they're the same demons, all right, that these um, nations are worshiping, all right? This is the book of Jeremiah 2 and 11. It says, half, um, half a nation change their gods, which are yet no gods, right? Because they, they worshiping, doing um, human sacrifices, okay? Right now in the Feast of Beasts to Molech, thinking he's a god, but Molech ain't no god, all right? Molech is just another servant of the Heavenly Father, Yahweh Bashem Yahushua, used to deceive and manipulate, okay? It says, um, but my people have changed their glory for that which doth not profit, right? Because guess what? Our people, all right, follow after these heathens, okay? This is why the Mosai put us into subjection under the heathens, because the Lord said, okay, I'm the greatest power, I'm the only power, but you're going to go ahead and worship the nations, all right? You're going to go ahead and worship these nations' power, so you know what? I'm going to put you under these nations. You were meant to ru uh, rule over them, but since you want to serve their deity, I'm going to have you serve them. Now, this is the book of Jeremiah, chapter 10, verse 1. It says, hear the word um, which the Lord, Yahweh, speaketh unto you, O house of Israel. Jeremiah 10 and 2 now. It says, thus saith the Lord, learn not the way of the heathen, right? So human sacrifices, okay? Which is pretty much what drill music is, okay? But they don't even know it, that they just sac uh, human sacrifices is um, abortion, okay? Because um, Margaret Singer, who started that, was a eugenist. Um, but they had to, you know, make it sound pleasant, because that's what Satan does, okay? Satan, Satan's job is um, is not to trick you into eating poison, um, a, a poison apple. Satan's job is to let you know that that apple is poison, but you just can't wait to consume it. Deception, okay? It says, thus saith the Lord, learn not the way of the heathen, all right? And be not dismayed at the signs of heaven, for the heathen are dismayed at them, right? Because everything comes in twos, right? Because we know that the sun and the moon, all right, namely the moon more often, okay, is used in the, in the, in the stars, all right, to tell us the signs of the times. Hell, Job knew about constellations, all right? And Job was on the scene before Moses, okay? So our people for a long time, going all the way back to Genesis, understood the stars, all right, or what have you. But that don't mean that we should worship them, okay? We don't worship the moon. We use the moon for times and seasons, all right, but we don't worship the moon, okay? We worship the creator of the moon, which is Yahweh. But these fucking nations, well, guess what? They'll worship the moon. They'll worship water and sea gods and all these other things, man, all right? Like Dagon, fish god, stupid shit, man. It says, at the signs of heaven, for the heathen are dismayed at them, for the custom of the people are vain, right? So, you know, that shit is all vanity, man, all right? Sacrifice to Molech. And you know what? This is how the you know that's how the scripture says the deceived and the deceit the deceived and the deceiver are his. The Mosa will have these, you know, will give these um devils riches, all right, and deceive them into thinking that Molech gave them the riches. See? When everything really, life, death, riches, poor, everything is up to the heavenly father, all right? You can sacrifice as much people as you want, you elites out there, but guess what? When the Most High says your time is up, your time is up, and then you can't, there ain't nothing you can do to stop it. It says, um, for one, cut it, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna drop it right there. I'm gonna drop it right there. I'm gonna jump to the next scripture. Um, this is the book of Exodus, chapter 20, verse 3. It says, Thou shalt not have no other gods before me, right? Because Yahweh Bashim Yahushua is a jealous power. Israel, all right, is the Most High's woman. Scriptures tell you I've, I've likened Zion to a, a calmly and delicate woman. 
all right? It says, thou shalt have no other gods before me. Thou shalt not make unto, them, unto thee any graven image or any likeness of anything that is in heaven above or that is in the earth beneath, right? And if you look at Molech, guess what they do? They graved out an image of a bull, man, all right? And that bull, you, there was a way to open up the, the carving, all right? Put kids in there and burn it. All right, in a brass bull. Watch the movie The Immortals. All right, they, they show you that in the movie The Immortals. They had a, a, a bull made out of brass or what have you and put humans in there and burn that shit. And it would kill them. And it would be like smoke coming out. It would, it would make it sound like the bull is making noise. It says, or any likeness of anything um, that, is in that is in heaven above or in, the, or in the earth beneath, like Dagon, all right? Hell, even... Um, Molex, sometimes you, you they'll, they'll put him as an owl. You see what I'm saying? It says, or oh, that is in the water under the earth. Fish God. It says, thou shalt not bow down thyself to them. And when you go to Wall Street, they got a bull on Wall Street. You got people that go down there and literally bow down under the balls. All right, of them bulls and take pictures, man. It says, nor serve them. For the for I the Lord Yahweh Shemia Shai that power I'm a jealous power right this is why it says in the book of Wisdom of Solomon the 14th chapter that what that um pretty much um idolatry was the beginning of spiritual fornication okay it says visiting the iniquity of the fathers upon the children unto the third and fourth generation of them that hate me. So the most I eventually get you, get you back. Don't be surprised, you know, if you see mass shooting, mass killings in these time period, man, okay? Seeing the kidnap rate go up, why? Because they sacrificed it onto this false deity, man. Okay, Molech. All right, drinking blood and shit in secret. Well, they get them more and more open with it now, man. You know, people are, are, are seeing what these people are about. Now, this is the book of Leviticus, chapter 28. Uh, Leviticus chapter 18, verse 28, pardon me. It says that the land um, spew not you out. Okay, so this is this is the thing about defiling the land of Israel. If you defile the land, the land is going to spew you out. It says also when you defile it, as it spews as it, as it spewed you out the nations as it spewed out the nations that were before right so right now they're defiling the land of Israel okay 29 for whosoever shall commit any of these abominations so when you commit ab abominations all right even the soul of that commit them shall be cut off from among their people verse 30 therefore shall ye keep Mine, uh, Salak here. Therefore, shall you keep mine ordinances that ye commit um, not any one, Salak here. Uh, Salak, it says that ye commit not any one of these abominable uh, customs which ye committed before you, and that ye defile not yourselves. Um, therein I am the Lord Yahweh, your power right so guess what how people did that our rulers did that man famous rulers in Israel were participating in the feast of the beast because this shit is nothing new man all right this custom has been around for a very very long time all right sacrificing children and shit to Molech all right this is not new there's nothing new under the sun and I'm gonna prove it this is the book of first Kings chapter 11 verse 4 it says for it came to pass when Solomon was old this is King Solomon now that his wives turned away his heart meaning his mind okay um, after other gods and his heart was not perfect with the Lord his power as was the heart of David his father right so he got old all right and he became weak to the woman, and guess what? The woman were worshiping other deities. Let's name, let's let's see some. For Solomon went after Ashtoreth. Uh, Y'all know Ashtoreth already, all right? 
Asterisk is another name for um, is it Mithra or Tamu uh, Semiramis, I believe. You know, again, these are these are these are deities. They just they just get passed down and change names, man. But it's the same demon people have been worshiping for a very long time. It says the goddess, all right. Um, which I believe asterisk it goes back to seven. These are all Hamite deities too, by the way. A lot of them. Okay, these Hamites they get taken over, and, and then guess what? Other nations pick up these Hamite deities, man. Okay, it says because these deities, these um, these um demons, okay, they just pretty much rock with whoever's in power. You know, so when the next nation comes in power, guess what? They just fashion them the, 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 the same demons. It says. Um, of the Zidonians, all right, Hamites, and after Milcom, the ab the abomination of the Ammonites. So, who's Milcom? Milcom is another name for Molech. Molech is also you 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 read it up and tell you, um, God of the um another God of the Anima, uh, Am Ammonites, which are the so-called Japanese today. It says, and Solomon did evil in the sight of the Lord, and went not fully after the Lord as did David his his father and he paid for that you know so it shows you that this thing this thing goes way back this this feast of the beast this feast of molech sacrificing human sacrifices child sacrifices this go way back in the scriptures man all right and the end of that shit is death both sides not dealing with that here's another account all right this is the book of second kings chapter 21 verse 1 Manasseh was 12 years old when he began to reign and reigned um, 50 and 5 years in Jerusalem and his mother name was Ephesba and he did that which was evil in the sight of the Lord so Manasseh did evil shit after the abomination of the, the heathen whom the Lord cast out before the children of Israel, right? So this is going back to what I read in Leviticus. Like, don't follow those customs. It says, For he built again um, the high places which Hezekiah, his father, had destroyed. And he reared up altars for Baal and made a grove, as did Ahab, um, king of Israel, and worshipped all the host of heaven and served them. So this, this, this brother went way the fuck off. All right? Verse 4, and he built altars in the house of the Lord, of which the Lord said in Jerusalem, will I put my name? And he built altars for all the host of heaven in two courts of the house of the Lord. And he made his sons pass through the fire. Damn, where did he get that from? Feast of Beast, Feast of Molech. It says, and observe times and use enchantments and dealt with familiar spirits and wizards. Um, it says, um, and wrought much wickedness in the sight of the Lord to provoke him to anger. And this is why the Lord put him away captive under the Assyrians. But guess what? When you read the prayer of Manasseh, he repented of all that. And, um, and the Lord showed him mercy. Why? Because he was a member of the elect. All right. So it shows you even the members of the elect could go way the fuck off. But if you have the Lord's chosen guess what you will have mercy you see so that's not for everybody but you know the most size mercy is great but israel has gone the hell off this feast of the beast bullshit is not new all right and you know like i said the most high yahweh shimmy i was is a very merciful power but you ain't supposed to do no shit like that you see All right, so with that, I'm going to give all praises to Yahweh, Bashim, Yahweh, Bahashim, Rechak, Wadash, the blonde to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone, true well. Salutations to the whole full elect out there. You are Kim to Zadakim that do this thing that have most truth and sincerity. Shalom.